All right, um, so we're gonna use this formula to determine um, um, anything that has to do with half-life. And so I'm gonna do four sample problems. Uh, here's the first problem. Uh, element X has a half-life of 2.00 years. How much of the original X remains after 10 years if you started with 4.00 grams? So we will use So sometimes I like it's good to just write out what we have. So has a half life of two point zero zero years. Uh, what remains after ten years? So that's the total time. And if you started, so the starting amount is this a zero, which is like time zero or at the beginning, so four point zero zero grams. So we're just going to solve for this. <laughs> You just plug it in, so you're solving for A. Uh, this is 4, 1 half, big T is 10 over 2. And then you just solve this, right? So you have to solve the exponent first. So that this is 1 half to the fifth times 4. So if you do that, you should get 0 0.125 uh, grams. We know it's grams because we initially started with grams. So this next one, um, I'm just going to do a quick practice problem. So if I want to solve for an exponent, so let's just say 5 equals 2 to the x power. And we want to solve for that x power, right? The way we solve for it is we use a logarithmic scale. And so we have to change this to logarithmic scale. The way we do that is we will take the log of both sides. Now, what's neat about the logarithmic scale is it actually moves exponents, and you can move it so instead of being to the next exponent, it's now multiplied by it. Um, so you can move it to the front, I mean, you can, it doesn't matter, but it, it now causes it to be multiplied. So what that means is that changes this to, uh, I'll do the whole thing, log 5 equals log, and then, um, I'm sorry, x times log to the 2. It, you could put log 2 to the x. It, I don't think it matters, but um, it causes it to be multiplied by it. So if I want to solve for x, I'm going to divide both sides by log 2. And so x equals... Um, so if you do this, um, log 5 divided by log 2... It's like 2.32. Okay. All right, so we're going to use that idea of when we solve for an exponent, we're going to use this taking the logarithmic function of it. All right, so let's do this real quick. So A equals A naught, big T, little t. So the initial mass is 10.0 grams. The half-life is 2.25 years. Oops. The... It decays to 2 point, so the final will be 2.50 grams. So 2.50 equals 10.0 to the 1 half. And then we, we don't know what big T is. We know little t is 2.25. <clears throat> All right, so we got to solve for this. Um, I think it's first best to get rid of this 10. So we divide 10 by both sides. Now to get you 0 0.250 equals 1 half. Uh, uh, this would be t over 2.25. So now at this point, we got to use the log, right? Because we, we're solving for an exponent. So we're going to log both sides. So this is log 0 0.250 equals. Um, and so this would be log 1 half t over 2.25. Remember, we can move the exponent just like we moved the exponent here. We can move this t over 2.25 in front and just multiply it. So this will be log 0 0.250 equals t over 2.25. Uh, this will be the log of 0 0.5. Is a half is 0 0.5. 
All right. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to erase this side real quick. So then what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by the log 0 0.05. So it'll be log 0 0.250 over log of 0 0.5 equals t over 2.25. I just divided by both sides by log 0 0.5. So log, oops, <clears throat> 0 0.25 log, I'm typing in my calculator, divided by uh, point, uh, log 0.5. This equals 2, so t is 2.25, so to get t, you multiply both sides by 2.25, and so you get uh, t equals 4.5. The one thing I would just note is uh, the units is in years, and notice there are three sig figs, so it's 4.50 uh, years. Okay. All right. Now let's do the next one. So at this point, I'm hoping that you kind of understand how to do it. So maybe you might want to pause and try it on your own. All right. I'll, I'll just do this up here. So A, A equals A naught and then T and little t. Um, so it says if five grams when I strip of original, so the we have five grams left over. Uh, 32.0 grams that we started with is left after 20 seconds. So we got to figure out the half-life. So this is 20 seconds. We want to figure out the half-life, right? So let's plug it in. So 5 equals 32. Uh, 1 half. So this would be 20 over little t. So we're going to go through the same, same thing. I'm going to divide both sides by 32. So... I have to buy about 32, 0 0.15625. I'm just going to keep the numbers. I'm going to worry about sig figs at the end. I try to keep a bunch of numbers. Uh, 20 over t. Okay, so we're going to log both sides. This would be log 0 0.15625 equals um, log of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it to 0 0.5, uh, 20 over t. Then you use the you expand this or use the power rule, I guess. And so um, log 0 0.15625 equals, I'm moving it to the front, log 0 0.5. I'm going to divide both sides by log 0 0.5. So that 20 over t equals, all right, now we got to do this. So then log of 0 0.15625 divided by, so you get 2.678, I'll just stop there. All right, so we now have 20 over t, which is this, right, equals log, the two logs divided by each other got me this number here. I'm going to multiply both sides by t to get t out of the denominator. So I got 20 equals 2.678 times t. So then I'm going to divide both sides, 2.678. So t, oops. So 20 divided by 2.678 equals. So um, if we look, this has only one sig fig. So the answer should be 7 seconds. It's uh, 7.468, right? And so rounded should be 7 seconds. Okay. All right. Uh, last one. A sample of carbon-14 started at 35 grams and currently has 3.50 grams. How many half-lives have occurred? So um, what you also need to know is in this equation, what we found in this equation is... This here is t, big T over little t is also the number of half-lives. And so when you ask for the number of half-lives, you can you, we're just solving for big T over little t <clears throat> as one whole thing, okay? So if I plug this in, so I started with 35 grams and I have 3.5. So my A equals uh, 3.5 grams and then my... A 
not equals 35.0 grams, one half. Now, remember, big T over little t is the number of half-lefts, and that's how we, what we want to figure out, right? Um, so, uh, let's just go ahead and do this. So, we're, we're solving for this as a whole. So, uh, uh, 3.50 divided by 35. So this is 0 0.1 equals 1 half a big T over a little t. Let's take the log of both sides. So um, big T, oh, I don't want to skip a step, so. So this equals log. 0 0.1 equals big T over little t log uh, 0 0.5. So we're going to divide both sides by log 0 0.5. So big T over little t, which is the number of half-lives, equals log of 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.5, the, the log of that, which is 3.5. Let's see how many six figures. I got three here, three here, so 3.32 half lives. And that's it. All right, hopefully that was helpful.